Now, this is what you have to be very careful of. Okay? This is the, this is the most daunting task of this problem. Is the negative 6.02 V or V naught? V naught. That's when it hits you. V naught. Yeah. V naught. It'd be V naught. <laughs> to V or not to V naught? <laughs> that is the question. Kale, what'd you say? V naught. Why is it V naught? Because that's when it, like, that's the initial velocity when it hits the ground. Okay. Do you all agree that it's going negative 6.02 meters per second when it hits the ground? When it leaves the ground, how fast is it going? 4.43. <coughs> so, here's my question. Let's ask it again. So is V the final velocity? Now, keep in mind, we're looking at the interchange when it's at in contact with the ground. Okay, that's the only thing we're looking at. We're just looking at that interchange when it's in contact with the ground. That's it. So how fast was it going when it hit the ground? Negative 6.02 meters per second. When it left, it was traveling at 4.43 meters per second. Okay? So this is going to be my V. The negative 6.02 is going to be your V naught. Okay. So I'm going to have V, which is going to be your 4.43 minus my V naught, which is going to be. So notice that you've got a negative minus a. Negative. negative. Cool with this. Okay. Cool with this. So, so I'm going to take 4.43 basically plus 6.02 multiply that by 0.254. What'd you get? 2.65. Now, what units? Newton seconds. Newton seconds. So here's what you have to watch, okay? Here's what you have to watch, is that what you called V naught here, okay? What you saw for V naught here, when you need to change the momentum, actually becomes the V, okay? And if you go back to that first step, what you called V out of this equation actually becomes V naught in this equation, okay? So that, that's where that gets a little bit tricky, okay? And that's why you have to think your way through this problem. You go, okay, right, V naught becomes V, because I'm looking at the interchange when it's on the surface of the earth, and then V becomes V naught. That's what you have to watch on a problem like this, okay? Good so far, okay. So at this point, I've got my change in momentum, 2.65. So, change the momentum of the ball is 2.65 seconds. Okay? What's the change? What does it hit? It's the earth, right? What's the change in momentum of the earth? Negative 2.65 Newton seconds. So every time this ball hits the ground, I change the momentum of the earth. Okay? Just a little bit. Okay? Not a lot, just a little bit. Now, do I have enough information to calculate the force on the ball? Yes. Does force times time equals? Delta P. Delta P. So force time equals delta P. Do you know the change in momentum? Yeah. Do you know the time? Yeah. Guess what? You can calculate force. the force. Okay? Now, is, now think this through. Okay? Think this through. Is the force acting on the ball going to be a positive or negative number? Positive. Why, Michael? It's sending it back 
Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to make the ball bounce up in the air by pushing it downward. Okay? It's not going to happen. Right? So I know that that force acting on the ball, when I calculate it, has to be a positive number pointing upward. Everybody cool with this? Okay? Do you have the time? Yes. Gave you the time. Pretty small number, right? So my force then is going to be change in momentum over time. Oh, now let's look. So somebody take 2.65 newton seconds and divide that. What was the time? What was it? 1.28 times 10 to the negative second. Yeah. Seconds? Yeah. Seconds cancel out. Miracle of miracles. What units do I have? Newton. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so somebody take 2.65 and divide it. What do you get? 207 newtons. 200 what? 7. Okay. So that's the force exerted on the ball. What's the force exerted on the earth? Negative 2.6. Oh, negative 207 newtons. Everybody cool with that? Why? Because it's Newton's third law. For every force there is an equal and opposite force. So this is the force on the ball. So the force on the earth is going to be, wait for it, a negative 207. Whoa. Whoa. Now, which direction is the force acting up provided by the ball? Down. Down. That's why that's Down. negative. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the force exerted by the floor on the ball is going to be uh, positive, and they are equal and positive. Crazy. Crazy. Now, could I determine the acceleration of the ball? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You have the force, you have the mass. Do you know the force and you got the mass? Yes. Oh. oh. Whoa. Whoa. Rad. <laughs> so, somebody take the force, which we said was positive or negative 207. Positive. Positive 207 newtons. And divide that by the mass of the ball, 0.254 kilograms. 850. 815? Yeah. Now, here's the million dollar question. How does that number work into this velocity time graph? That's the slow slope. Slope. Oh, Does it make sense that it's a positive number? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Because it doesn't take very long to undergo that transition. So the slope of this line becomes 815 meters per second squared. Now, here's the last kicker out of this whole deal. Can I find the acceleration of the Earth? Yeah. Yeah, you have the mass of the Earth. You have the acceleration. Delta P over T. It's big. Now, here's the deal. Do you think the acceleration of the Earth is going to be negative 815 meters per second squared? That would be... You never know. That would be scary. We don't have to concern the acceleration. Well, yeah. So, notice that it's what Preston said. Okay, Preston had a very, very astute point. You conserve momentum. Right? But you can sort of acceleration. <sighs> now, do you have the same force acting on both both Gary the golf ball and the earth? Yep. Yes. So here's the question. Is the acceleration of the earth going to be a positive or negative number? So if I take negative 207 newtons and divide that by the mass of the Earth, what do you get? Negative 
23rd. Last 10 to the negative 23rd meters per second squared. Okay? So whenever you whenever I bounce that ball, I have made the earth accelerate. Okay? Whoa. Whoa. Now we do now. Some jumping. Thank you, thank you very much. It's a, it's a talent I've got. I took the class in it. So, so here's the deal. Why would it be really, 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 really weird if the, if our accelerations of the Earth were equal and opposite to the acceleration of? Like down anybody down. like moved? Like <laughs> Whoa, yeah! Imagine Friday night when everybody's playing basketball across America. Every time someone would dribble the ball, <laughs> the Earth would accelerate up. Even more than that. Where we are our own pinball. Yeah, basically we'd be our own pinball. So we'd have to have people. We'd have to have like gyroscopic, like all multi directional things we can walk in. There it is. Gyroscopic. Oh, like a dungeon. Gyroscopic. That was nice. I don't know what this was, but. I was just, I appreciate the word gyroscopic. Oh. Yeah, it was it was a good thing. Okay, good. I was like, yeah, I was like, what is that? No, no, no. Okay, so that was a good thing. Okay, so here's what I want you to remember. And you keep that slip of paper because I promise you there's going to be a problem like it on the test. You mark my words. Okay? Work this problem again and again and again until you can do it without giving it a second thought. Okay? Can we just change the numbers? Yeah, just change the numbers. Okay? But it's going to be the exact format of this problem. I'm going to tell you straight up. We should do it with Brooklyn. Format's going to be the exact same. <laughs> we we drop Brooklyn. We do, no, like, but, like pretending that you do. On a trampoline. No, that's different then. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we just pretend that Brooklyn bounces. Okay. And we change the, like, the so the video that we're going to watch, we don't watch many videos. But this is pertinent to you all as teenagers because you all think the laws of physics don't apply to you. Uh, I guess everyone. Well, no, it's just a little crash video. Oh, why don't we're going to keep the camera rolling for the video. Asking for another one. Wait, we just like we just fight with. Yeah, we can fight over who gets to keep the one. We're going to copyright it.